Everywhere in her house, Christine McFadden is surrounded by memories, memories of her four children full of life. Am I supposed to be filming the game or something? It was, but it wasn't fun. Fourteen-year-old Stuart, an avid soccer player. Stanley, 15, a boy with an endearing sense of humor. At 17, Melanie, a dancer, had hopes to go to Stanford. And little Michelle, who had just turned five years old. On March 26, 2002, John Hogan, their stepfather and the youngest girl's father, came into the house, shot and killed all four children, and then himself. Christine McFadden came home from her walk that morning to find them all dead. The truth is I, I really still don't go out much. Uh, I go to my Rotary group and I, um, the things that are involved with fundraising, I go and do because that's for my kids. Um, I'll do anything for them. And she's waving, which she's not supposed to do. Part of surviving for McFadden means doing what she can to preserve the good memories. It also means living in an empty house, a place filled with years of laughter and one moment of horror. There has never been a question that I wanted to be here. Not ever. Um, those couple of minutes that it took for their stepfather and father to murder them has absolutely nothing to do with my children. All the love and laughter, it, it's all here. And to leave it would be leaving my children, deserting them. Spending time with her children's friends also helps. Her oldest daughter's girlfriends come to visit every week. And again, the house comes alive. The best part is that I feel that I'm in one sense with my kids again. Um, kind of like being a second mother because I spent so much time here. Um, and sometimes it's the hardest part because I look around and everything's the same, but I realize that my child, my children, aren't here with them. McFadden still feels the bond only a mother can share with her children, a bond even death couldn't break. They deserve to be memorialized. They deserve to be remembered. They deserve to have some of the works that I think they would have done had they lived uh, become realized. And there's no one who's more capable, at least, of doing that than me. McFadden says her children were fighters and stood up for what they believed. As their mother, that's the legacy she now carries. So I'm there to hear, to fight for them, I guess, for that recognition. She says that's the real reason she can go on. Monty Francis, KC24 News.